In this video, I'm going to go over the antenna light on the Drive Spark Explorer. Um, I call it the antenna light because it's it's mounted where the uh, radio antenna used to be. Some people call it the hood light or fender light or cow light, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's in, in this general area. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a Dick Sepik Baja Laser 100, and uh, it's actually an older style. Uh, Dick Sepik Baja laser light. Um, sometime in the late 90s, early 2000s, something like that, they um, they updated the design where it no longer has this uh, this finned base. You see right here, it has these uh, reinforcements on the base. Um, you know, at some point they uh, they updated it, which. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, you know, the, the typical uh, light of this style you see. This is a KC branded one, but they um, they have, uh, you know, generics and stuff. They're all this basic same uh, style of light, this round base, this smooth base. So, yeah, something to be aware of. Um, you know, even if it is just it says Dick Sepik, you know, Baja Laser Light. You know, look out for the uh, for the fin bases for the old style. It's a little bit harder to find. It's not not impossible. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, nothing to be cautious with is, uh, when I was first looking for these, um, I found a couple of them that, that were pictured like this, like the, the box looked like this with the fins and everything, but then, uh, the, the seller posted pictures of the lights, and they were the newer style, so there must have been some overlap between they updated the, the light and then when they updated the box, so, just be aware of that, um, so the other option here is we have um, this one which is stainless, bare, and then there's just one that's painted from the factory. Um, obviously when painting stuff like stainless steel and, and, and stuff like that, it's you know it's going to be better for you if you can find a, one that's already painted from the factory because it's going to have a really good finish on it. Um, whereas this one's bare stainless. I'm pretty sure they're the same material and everything, um, just this one's painted from the factory. Um, it's gonna be a little bit easier to paint, you know. You won't have to scuff it up as much and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, the other difference here is they have a they have a 150 watt sealed beam version, which is pictured here, and a 100 watt halogen version, which has this uh, removable bulb here. Um, you wouldn't think that would be a big deal, but uh, what I found is. Uh, the one with the removable bulb hazed over really easily. I don't know if it's because you know air and, and stuff can leak by where the where the lights mounted, but um, yeah, it turned really hazy. And I, you know, I haven't, you know, I, I had this on the truck for a little bit, but I mean, I haven't really driven through that much rain or anything. Um, the truck's been in the garage mostly, so this was the original bulb I had in my truck, and it hazed over really quickly. Where you can see the um, sealed beam version is still. It's perfect because you know no air or anything can get in there, so um, you can really tell the difference there. And you know, so I, I swapped it out on mine. I actually um, this this is a one of the bare stainless ones um, that I found first that I painted, and it, it took paint pretty well from what I can tell. I put it, you know, I scuffed it up quite a bit, and I put put a uh, etching primer on it. Um, it appears to be okay. Um, I did find this one later, so if I do have problems with paint sticking to that one over time, I'm gonna paint this one put it on but yeah that's basically uh, you know the options you have just yeah just be aware that if it's a even if it's the Epic brand that it make sure it's the older style with this uh, with this base um, yeah and another thing I noticed which I don't know if this is true or not but uh, this appears to have a pretty pretty wide diameter loom for the uh, the cables Which you can see there. I mean, I don't know. I don't have one of these, you know, KC versions or a generic version. They, they might come with, uh, you know, thicker cable. But yeah, that's something to note there. Um, also, yeah, it looks like for the movie they use the um, the black version too. If you look at this picture from uh, when they're making the Explorers. Um, you can see that it's uh, it's black with the uh, chrome base there. 
Um, another thing to notice too is uh, is how they mounted it. You'll see that um, it's mounted with everything on the top, basically, um, which is kind of awkward because uh, you're supposed to mount it, but, you know, sandwich your uh, mounting surface between these two rubber pieces, and this is all supposed to go on the bottom. For whatever reason, I don't know if it was to make it a little bit taller or what, but they uh, they mounted everything on top and painted it. So nothing to be aware of there. Uh, also, getting getting to the underside of this to mount it is a little tricky. Um, you can't get to it from uh, the fender area. You know, I thought maybe initially you could take out the fender lining and get up in there or something. Um, the only way to get to it is uh, is by taking the blower motor out or cutting a little access hole in your uh, in your firewall. Um, if you take this blower motor out with the AC, uh, the AC blower motor, that gives you access to the cowl area to get to the underside of this to mount it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, these are not hard to find. Um, and when you do find them, most of the time they're sold in sets of like two or four. Not a whole lot of people buy just one of them. So, uh, yeah, so there's a good chance you might have a, you know, a few extra to sell or as backups. Um, yeah, I hope that was, uh, hope that was informative.